Hi, this is Mathieu from R Coaching. So let's have a look on what's new in Mind Manager 2016 for Windows. So first of all, there are these new diagrams. So it's not just about mapping anymore, it's also about flow charts, swim lane charts and concept maps. And this brings many new applications. So for example, flow charting, not only of processes, but also of workflows, data flow diagrams, diagnostic charts, algorithms, and state diagrams, and much more. So let's have a look at some examples. So for example, this flow chart built in the new Mind Manager, but also a swim lane chart, a decision diagram, and concept maps, or a status chart. And of course, you can combine these new diagrams with the existing mapping methods you know from Mind Manager. And this brings a lot of added value. So for example, covers a lot more of use cases. It's the ease of use of Mind Manager applied to these new diagrams, so it's easy to use. And of course, it extends the capabilities by combining maps and chart in one file. So second is ease of use keeping it quick and easy and also focusing on clarity. So they focused on building diagrams quickly, make it easy to work with the new charts and also, for example, add link labels, which was not available before. Addition of new topic shapes and also some controls to do some fine positioning to align topics, for example. Then there's a big new feature on working with multiple documents on multiple windows, which was highly requested. So you can drag a map onto another screen and work on two maps or even more maps at the same time. There was some work done on the tag, the tagging system in Mind Manager, now applying colors to your tags. So they're not just plain white anymore. And as you might see in the new manager, Mind Manager, when you'll be using it, there will be these numbers in your map indicating the number of subtopics. Added value of these new functions, of course, it makes it easy and fast to build charts, a low learning curve, and also using all these cool features that you already know from your maps onto these new diagrams. Then further, there is a fresh look and feel. So Mind Manager now matches Office 2016. So Mind Manager is now mostly blue in the interface. The icons are also freshened up, so they are now high resolution and new style, as you can see in this example. And the metadata, so for example, tasks, resources, and tags are also redone. They applied some coloring and also some icons to indicate what is what. So what is a resource, what is a task. Then on the left-hand side of this map, there is some information about a new solution, Mind Manager Enterprise also updated for Mind Manager 2016 for Windows. This includes the admin setup for easy large-scale deployment of licenses. Also, of course, Mind Manager 2016 for Windows, not just a normal version, but an enterprise version, including the SharePoint linker. Also the reader for Mind Manager for Windows. So this is a new application. It's not the web-based reader we used to, but this allows for company-wide sharing of maps. And this also works together with SharePoint and Project Director. And of course, the Enterprise package also includes Mind Manager 10 for Mac. And the second part of the Enterprise solution is integration on the SharePoint server to view maps from SharePoint for people who don't have Mind Manager. So now, how to get started? Mind Manager 2016 for Windows will be released on the 15th of October. And more information will be available from our website, rcoaching.nl. And if you want to view the entire map, also with some more information, visit our profile on BiggerPlate or our website. And I'll see you soon.